Captain, the comet is approaching the station. Its trialic energy is making it easier for the Davidians to manifest. People in the station don't have any way to fight them. We have to help, or they will die. Captain, I'm reading multiple Davidian life signs. We'll need to work quickly to clear the station of their presence. Captain, I don't think anyone here appreciates the video's crash in the party. I'm detecting weapons, fire, broken glass, signs of struggle. There's a little, little threat to us, sir, but the Davidians could use the conflict as cover. We should quell it and continue our hunt. Command warned against unnecessary bloodshed. Recommend we set weapons to the sun and minimize possible damage to the timeline.
all the pew pew pews. Crowded phantasm. Do not attempt to stop us. We hunger. We must feed. Leave immediately or I will amplify the time distortion and destroy the station. You will not survive. Hey, those things are holed up in my lounge. They've got some of my customers in there with them. The door is barricaded. A few hits with a disruptor should take care of that. Get my people out. Funny looking one, aren't you? Thanks for the help, friend. What were those things? Damn spirits snuck up on me. I noticed a spike in triolic energy, and I was working on it to do just the station shields to compensate. But I went to fetch a hydro spanner and I was attacked. You can help me, I finished my repairs before the triolic energy reaches the lethal levels. By the way, you can call me Scotty.
just as I suspected, the trialic energy is increasing. It'll be will be cooked if it like I guess if we don't do something about it. There's a wee store on the station. Lass who has runs a Cassidy said they might be getting in the supply of new flux new quantum flux regulators. The Mark II variation. If we had one of those regulators that could multiply the flux coordinating shield sensors and use them to modulate the shields protecting the station. That would buy us some time. Go find Cassidy. She'll know what they are. I think I'm coming off more Irish than Scottish, but well, what are you gonna do, right? Checking everything. Seems to be running good. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey! Goodbye. What were those things? They were floating and then one looked at me and I felt feel so weak that it lifted me up and it was horrible. Are you looking for something called uh, from the store? A quantum one? I'm sorry, I'm just too scared right now to think about closing down until I get my wits about me. Maybe it would be best if I packed up and went to Sherman's plant. What can I do to help? I don't know, maybe a nerve tonic, tonic to soothe me? Can you get one for me? Bitch just wants me to be her waiter. about nerve talks? Nerve talks? <laughs> you don't look like one, either one of those. These wee beasties were troublesome, but they're as bad as a ship full of angry Romulans. Now, I've been known to enjoy an occasional sip of scotch whiskey. Well, that's only that's the only nerve talk you ever need. Why do you need to know about them? Looking for a nerve tonic for Cassidy. Oh, for Cassidy! That just makes sense. She's a bonny lass, that Cassidy. But more than willing to spend a little time with the right Starfleet officer, if you know what I mean. But she hasn't got a stomach for fighting. Is she alright? I'd hate for anything to have happened to her. She's a bit shaken up, but she'll be fine. Glad to hear. Sounds like she needs something to take a wee bit of the edge off. And I happen to be one of my specialties. Along with transwarp transporter calculate technology and warp field mechanics. Cassie's been meeting with me every evening at the bar for a spot of cheer. I've never seen her order this a nerve tonic. Perhaps you, if you, I told you what she likes, you'd be able to figure out the right mix. Bartend would be able to help you. What does Cassie like to drink? Albanian brandy. Cassie didn't like the salty taste of the Albanian brandy. She really enjoyed the fact that it was garnished with a drop of honey that floated on the top of the drink. <laughs> Garnish is getting in the way of a fine beverage, if you ask me. Can you imagine putting a wee piece of pineapple in a glass of 20 year old single malt? It's preposterous! Blood wine. The only time I ever saw Cassidy drink blood wine was when she was feeling under the weather, poor lass. She liked that it was served warm, but she hated the blasted me heavy metal mugs that the Klingons used it. And the potency of it was a bit much for her, her to handle. A girl like Cassidy needs something with a little less kick. Denevian mead. Still, I brought Cassie a, gla a Denevian mead, if you know how. Ugh, terribly sweet stuff. Like drinking syrup. Cassie didn't like the cloying sweetness. And the wee barn broke out in the hives because she was allergic to the fruit garnish. I was ordering that stuff again. Firewine. Cassidy and I got into a drinking contest with the Klingon one night. We ended up drinking fire wine. It's not as good as scotch, mind you. But it's better than drinking warp oil, warp oil coolant. The next morning, she picked herself off the floor. Cassidy told me that the fire wine was so spicy she was afraid of eating a hole through her stomach. I had to send her to the bowl and see Bones for a checkup. Also, she said that drinking from those shallow bowls made her feel like someone's pet tart. Martini. Martinis aren't for me a cup of tea, but as it were. But Cassidy seemed to like them. She appreciated the martini could be served cold as possible. 
but since she nurses her drinks, the cold tends to dissipate and she doesn't get the full effect. She's quite fond of the fancy stemmed glasses though. A Samarian Sunset. Cassidy really likes her Samarian Sunsets, mostly because of the sour taste. She hates it that the drink is so weak. Then trying to convince the bartender to add a garnish to make it happy feeling last longer, but he said, but he won't do it because then it wouldn't be a Samarian sunset. Hey, I say, a drink's a drink. If the girl wants a gar if the lady wants a garnish, give her one. Skagarin whiskey. Cassie likes a really likes a little pick me up of a drop of Skagarin whiskey. She doesn't like that the wee shot glasses or the silly paper umbrellas. However, I heard of putting a wee paper umbrella in a glass of whiskey. Sacrilege! Hell, if I ever go to Cigar, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. But yeah, I think that came off more Irish than Scottish, but the accents are fairly similar. What can I do for you? Uh, I need some details before I can make a drink for you. If you need help figuring out what combination of greens you want, you should talk to one of the waitresses. That's what they're here for. What do you want? Hot. Sour. Little pick-me-up. Stem glass. Drop of honey. Try this. I love warm drinks. They're so relaxing. I'm glad you find the temperature pleasant. That lovely sour nose to drink. I feel so refreshed. I'm glad. I thought that would be just right for you. Just enough um to this drink to make it really stick with you. I really like that. It looks like you could use a little pick-me-up. I love the style of this glass. It accentuates the flavor of the ingredients. Aesthetics are important. Bright glass makes the drink even better. Honey! Oh, that bit of sweetness is just perfect. It adds the most delightful note to the drink. I'm glad that the last drop of this drink is making you happy. Ah, that was marvelous. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. What tools you need? A quantum flux regulator mark II? I have one of those right here. Please take it as a thank you. Ha ha. ha ha ha. The right tool for the right job. I start making the adjustments. I don't know if I got there enough time. I can't, I can't even change the laws of physics. The trialic energy levels keep rising. The sensors show that the plastic comet is to blame. Modulating the shields is not going to be enough. Something needs to be done about it. That comet, if we're going to live through this live to see the morning. Captain, the ship is safer now, but we will need to deal with the common in order. If the Davidians are able to harness its energy, then they will be able to pull most of this sector into their phase barriers. Past, present, it will all be disrupted. Sir, a group of Klingon vessels has entered the system. They are leading ship of Halen. Put it through. Ah, a ship from the house of Duras. I am Captain Vivat, son of Warat, leader of my house. My brother died to Duras treachery. I will avenge his death in the destruction of a, with the destruction of a hundred Duras ships. Prepare to die. Captain, we can't afford to change the course of history any more than we all they've already have been altered. We know that Captain Vivette survives this day. We need to attempt to disable his forces. He's calling for reinforcements. We'll need to destroy the comet and return for our time before we're overwhelmed.
You did it, Captain. The remaining comet debris is too small to be a threat. Now we just need to find a way back. Uh, sir, one well, moment. Detecting a temporal anomaly forming inside the mid tier. Yes, if you're receiving this message, then you and your crew have completed your mission and Drifton's comet is destroyed. The Davidians are no longer a threat to the Empire. I thank you for your service to the intelligence. Because I never leave one of my people behind, I found a way to return. I have found a way to assist you to return. When you last docked at Ganalda Station, I had a, some modification made to the ship. One of them, one of those was a Borg Temporal node, salvaged from a cube in the Britain called Britain Cluster. It's set to return you to our time. Congratulations on a job well done. And that was the Spectre storyline. Hello, Parsonoe and Blackrock. How are you today? Driffitt's Comet is a memory. I'm sure the Federation scientists will do some meaningless study on its, into its disappearance in the 23rd century, but like so many of those minute so many of like so many of the minutia those explorers are so fascinated with it'll be of no consequence what matters is that you acted to protect the empire and your the warriors do there's no greater reward than that it would be best for the empire to keep the details of the transpired secret time travel is troublesome time travel is so t troublesome but while the lore singers will never tell the tale of the IKS Mitsu and the comet Know that those in, your, those in power recognize and appreciate your achievements. To my go with honor, my friend, I will call on you again in the future, should the need arise. We'll go with Klingon Disruptor Pistol. Congratulations, Commander. of the Empire. There's a report of battle in the Nog, Nog system. There's an enemy bold enough to attack that close to the Empire. It must be dealt with. I'm calling all available ships to the Nog system. Fight with honor. Serve the Empire well. Go. the Norg system. Level 25 right now. Five more levels and I get a new ship. I can't get a new officer right now because I don't have any open slots at the moment. Oh, I'll check something in the store. How much do bridge officer slots cost? Just out of curiosity. This operation grants a single character two additional slots. Expand your crew without leaving your current officers behind. Both Federation and Klingon characters may use this option. Not sure that's something I can use more than once. Like the oh, some of the other stuff. I want to try.
try a runabout or a raptor, but you're out of ship space, the additional slip slots to your character. Purchase this option and add two ship slots to one character. I guess that means if I wanted to add more bridge slots, bridge officer slots, I'd have to do it per character. And with 10 characters, actually the one that has uh, 13 characters currently set up, that's 13 times 250. So, quite a bit. So it'll be like 28 bucks to get enough character slot to buy two extra character slots per character if it is indeed a one-time purchase. If it's something where like you buy it and then you activate it but you can activate it on the characters once then maybe. But I would have to look into that more. Captain, there are reports of a group of ships in the area under heavy attack, but I'm not detecting weapons fire or signs of battle. There are groups of objects with long range scanners that are the right size material for the construction of a ship, but there's no energy readings or life signs. Examine debris of Klingon. There's nothing left of this battle group, and the computer isn't can't determine who's responsible for it. It's based on weapon signatures. I'm detecting strange readings up ahead. Those large asteroids, a series of subspace rifts. They are the ships of unknown configuration coming through. The Klingon Emperor shall pay for the sins of its creator, Kalos. This world has been without the Fakari for too long. 
Our banishment has made us stronger. We've looked upon the oceans of blood from the shore of Greythor and no longer feel fear. We have fought history's most dishonorable Klingons and prevailed. We have returned to your world to seek our revenge. Today may be good, a good day to die, but not for you. The Fikari? I thought they were just a story that the grandmothers tell their children. At least this would explain what happened to the Klingon battle group and why the computer couldn't determine their attackers. Let's show them how much we've learned about battles since the time their time and send them back to Greythor. Those portals look unstable, sir. A solid attack should just cause them to collapse. Adjustments here.
your officer's abilities. I don't need that on my menu. Reports that the Farkari vessel command reports that Farkari vessels are approaching the homeworld, attacking ships in orbit. Our orders are to return to the Praxis belt in the Chrono system and assist in the defense.
Hey, Ebony's usually here by now. Hope she's okay. The Fakari have opened up more portals in orbit of Kronos. They struck hard and fast. It looks like they caught the Homeworld Defense Network by surprise. They may be the last thing that stand. We may be the last thing that stands between the Fakari and Kronos, Commander. We will need to destroy them and quickly before they get a chance to overwhelm our planetary defense. Great. We're detecting a group of Fakari ships approaching an orbital command station. The space station is essential to our defense of the entire system. Commander, we must stop the Fakari before they occupy it. I got word that a fleet's doing maneuvers that a fleet doing maneuvers is headed back to Kronos and Maximor. We just need to hold out a bit longer. Stovta Vikas
Commander Getz. It's good to see you in the glorious battle to defend Kronos. I brought enough firepower that we'll be able to dissuade invaders from trying anything like this again. Sir, I'm receiving reports from the Fakari of Fakari troops landing at the KDF headquarters. We must defend the homeworld. Beam down immediately. Transport ready. You may beam down as soon as you're ready. That's not Kagan. The Fakari forces are assaulting the headquarters of the Klingon Defense Force. The guards are fighting with honor, but some may be trapped in the by the encroaching hordes. We'll need to offer assistance. We need to do what we can to save them from our enemies. Let's see if I can get a weapon a bit better than the one I got right now. And yes, that is a 23rd century Klingon Destructor Pistol. Reinforcements inbound, Captain. They're attacking the guards near the entrance to the headquarters. We must dispatch those honorless Patach quickly. Captain, I think the guards have the courtyard under control, but some Fakari did make it in the headquarters. This is the heart of our command structure. We must stop that threat now. We are ready to fight and die to defend the Empire, Captain. We must enter the headquarters as soon as you are ready. We're getting reports of Fakari forces inside the headquarters. Strain storage areas are lightly defended, and the quartermasters are ill equipped to deal with an invasion force. We must help them. Reports of Fakari at the challenge floor, Captain. Base personnel are being pulled back to defend the shipyard and other essential areas of headquarters. We must assist by stopping the Fakari before they have a chance to attack our people. I will bathe my blade in the black blood of the Fakari before the sun sets. Join us in battle. Trionium gas.
There are distress calls coming from the barracks, Captain. The Fakari are destroying everything in their path. The Bex uh, there who haven't completed their warrior training, I for one do not want those young soldiers to die. Not if we can do something about it. Uranium ore. The remaining Fakari are making all an attack on the high on command chambers at the upper level of the headquarters. When Jim Pock was notified of the attack, he and several members of the High Council transported to headquarters to help defend it. They're holding the Fakari hordes off for now, but I fear they will be overwhelmed if we do not assist them. We have dealt with the Fakari a major blow today, but I fear this fight is not over yet. Much blood will be spilled before this ends. Yeah, it's to part Kronos. Slap us in the face 
and expect us to die like Federation dogs, they will find out that we are much more. We are warriors, we are Klingon. The battle is far from over, Gitz. I trust that you will serve your empire well. Serve the empire well. Congratulations, Kapla. Commander. Commander, it is my duty as Chancellor to do something about the threat of the Fakari. I think you are the best officer for the task. Report to me at the High Council Chamber. We will discuss what you can do for the Empire. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! The legends say that the return of the Fakari heralds rays of Molar. And if Molar ascends from Graythor, he will rule the Empire, an empire of blood, for a thousand years. I don't know how much of these old stories I believe, but the Fakari have starships. They have weapons equivalent to our own. This could be an enemy wearing the shape of our ancient enemies, like a mask to hide their own dark plans. The council is divided on this plan. Some firmly believe that the Fakari are besieging the Empire at the same time are the same enemies that Kaelus fought a thousand years ago. Others whisper about the Herk or even Federation tricks. I no longer know what to believe. All I know is that my duty is to defend the Empire. Those on the Council who will say the Fikari are the spawn of Greythor tell me that the Sword of Kalos is essential to our defense. I have agreed to send a ship and crew to pursue this investigation. I have chosen you, one of our finest warriors. I know little about the legends of the sword. I recommend that you bring you begin by speaking to the lore singers in the courtyard outside the Great Hall. They should be able to tell you more about the sword and why it's special. Serve the Empire well. Time to talk to this guy. Do you wish to hear the tale of Kalos? I weave tales of glory and honor. Tell me more of the sword of Kalos. Kalos used his blade to defeat Molar. He used it to force the Fakari hordes to retreat to the hell from which they came. He used it to skin the serpent of Zol. And its might forced his brother Morath to submit to Kalos and return to the Path of Honor. There is no greater weapon in our history. The sword of, with the sword of Kalos in my hand, I could face an entire fleet and win. After Kalos left this world for Stovakor, the sword are, was our greatest chill, treasure. The monks of Boreth kept it safe for Kalos' return. When the Hark conquered the Empire, they took the blade as a spoil of war. We thought it lost forever. Many have searched for this blade, but its, 
its place of honor in Barath remains empty. I hear stories say that Worf's son of Moog went to a great adventure with his beloved and the great Dahar Master Kor. I have heard that they searched for the Sword of Kalos and they, and some even say they have found it. I'd ask Worf to tell me the story, but he turns away without a word. Ask him yourself, perhaps you'd be more fortunate. Greetings. How may I fight with honor? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like I had the option to do so. Fight with honor. I am Worf, son of Moog, Gintak of the House of Martok. And yes, I am the one you have heard stories of. I served the Federation proudly. I served under two of the finest commanders in Starfleet and fought many battles for the Federation. I regret nothing. But when war came between our people and my adopted family, I had to make a choice. The honorable path was here. Fight with honor. Belly. Tell me about the Sword of Kalos. My father, Tiran, is the one you need to ask about for the sword itself. I can tell you about the Fakari, those foul creatures without honor who crawl from the darkest depths of Grethor itself to do dread Molar's bidding. Be wary of the Fakari, Commander. Those who die at their hands risk their souls. Molar was a tyrant who ruled Cronus in the time of Kalos the Unforgettable. He was so strong that no man could oppose him. Kalos joined with his true love, the Lady Lucura, to defend the city of Kem Kemche from Molar soldiers. The warriors of Kemhe Kem Quachim Quemche? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Some Klingon words I can pronounce. Some I just don't have any idea how to. Were afraid of the Fakari and fled, leaving Kalos and Lakara to fight 500 Fakari on their own. Kalos and Lakara fought for a day and a night, and a day again. The floor of the Great Hall of Chemche, filled with an ocean of black blood and poisonous ichor. The sun set on the second day, only chaos. Kalos and Lucura were left standing. They defeated the Horde and saved the city. Kalos knew he would need a mighty weapon to defeat Molar, so he left the protection of Kemque to his lady love and went into the mountains. There he forged the first Batleth. This mighty sword, with this mighty sword, Kalos slew Molar and banished his spirit to Graythor. Molar rages and screams in his prison. He plots and plans for the day he will rule the Empire again. Now he has sent the Fakari back to attack, back to Kronos to create chaos and death. There are the heralds of Molar's return. If Molar retakes the Empire, he will rule for a thousand years, and that is all that will be left. And all that will be left of the Klingons is bones and dust. Now talk to. Him. Fight with honor. There's a battle brewing on the you horizon. Speak of the Fakiri. Fakiri. What do you know of the Fakiri? Fight with honor. Tell me about the Sword of Kalos. That is a task for the lore singers. Suffice it to say that it has power beyond that of a normal weapon. Not only can it rend flesh and bone, it can control hearts. To my regret, I found that I was not up to the task of being the sword's master. Fight with honor! This is a story that I am loath to share without good reason. However, I know you to be honorable and a friend to the House of Martok. I do not ask without reason. I accompanied Daha Master Kor and Jadzia Dax on a search for the Sword of Kalos. Kor had uncovered information during his time as a diplomat to Vulcan 
that he believed would lead us to the sword's location. He was correct. We found the sword on a Herc world in the Gamma Quadrant. The sword brought the dark sides of our natures to the surface. We argued over who was to keep the blade. I might have even done the unthinkable and killed for the blade, if Jadzia had not been there to stop me. Kor and I realized that the Sword of Kalos was too powerful for any man to wield. It had divided us. It would have divided the Klingon people as well. We agreed, for the good of the Empire, to transport the blade into deep space. If Emperor Kalos had not been successful, it would be there still. Fight with honor! The Emperor has been troubled by the circumstances surrounding his return to Kronos. The Emperor is a clone, created by the clerics at Boroth in an attempt to unite our people. He has served as a moral guide and an inspiration to many over the years, but as time passed, he grew dissatisfied. He wanted to be more than a shadow of glory's past, of victories won by another. Kayla sought a quest to prove himself. He convinced me of his sincerity and, in return, I revealed to him the last known location of the Sword of Kalos. Emperor Kalos left Kronos last year to search for the sword. In returning it to our people, he hopes to prove that he is the rightful heir to Kalos, the Unforgettable. Fight with honor! Do you believe the Fakiri are the same enemies from our past? The Fakiri share many characteristics with our ancient enemies. However, one of the things I learned during my time in Starfleet was that things are not always as they seem. It may be that the true enemy is hiding behind legends until they choose to reveal themselves. Fight with honor! The Emperor contacted me recently. The course of his ship would put him in the Senex system now. Be wary. The Breen have overrun that system. Kaelas is an inspiration to us all, but as a modern warrior, you may find that he needs assistance. However, if you seek the sword of Kaelas, you must find the Emperor. We're ready to go to the Senex system on your orders. Beam Fight ship. with honor! Warp to Senex system. Fight with system. honor! Sensors are picking up readings of destroyed Klingon fleet in the area, but there's one remaining ship trying to f get a fix on it. It's the Balth, sir. That's the Emperor's ship. Incoming hail now. Join the fight, have you? Good. There's no better companion to than a Klingon warrior. The Breen attacked us, our, our group, and attempted to pass through the area. My ship was badly damaged and we detected reinforcements inbound. See if you can intercept them, and my people will be try to get this hunk of junk moving again.
Correct, and there's another attack group en route to our position, but that is heavily damaged, so we need to expect... We should expect to do most of the fighting. flagship is responsible for destroying the bulk of the fleet. It's moving this way, sir. Let's show him what it means to be Klingon. being held by the vaults, sir. Putting to, on to the main viewer. The Breen have sent over boarding parties during the last attack. We could use a few more strong warriors. Beam aboard the IKS. Oh. Breen are all over this section of the ship. We could clear them out before we proceed to the bridge.
can't be a sandwich. Damage reports from main engineering, main engineering captain. War course going critical, captain. We need to stop the breach. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. We don't have time to enjoy the glory of the Brina have done significant amounts of damage to the war core. The containment is failing in the breach, and there will be a breach unless we bypass the damage conduits.
There we go. Bypass damage conduits, but we will also need to regulate the antimatter flow to, to the rest of the core if the Beth is ever going to leave this system on its own power. Warp core is now back online, fully functional. Sensors indicate that the remaining green boarding parties are attempting to take the bridge. We need to stop them from taking the ship and the Emperor. The green are boarding parties are on the bridge, Kathy. We need to protect the Emperor Kalis. You are a stout warrior and a fine commander, a true tribute to the Empire. However, I fear you are here for more than just a good fight and a mug of blood wine. Tell the truth now. You're, are you searching for the sword, of, the sword, aren't you? I have what you seek, commander. However, you do not need the sword itself. The power is over the heart, not the flesh and bone. I know that Worf would not reveal my location without good cause. So, your need must be dire, and you are a noble and honorable warrior, so I will teach you what you need to know. Together, we will save the Empire. Serve the 
the Empire wins. Kapla! I have received a message from the Emperor. The Kalos commands you to travel to the Monastery of Breath. He says he will meet you there and instruct you on what you must do to stop the advance of Molar and the Fokiri Horde. The Fokiri are formidable. May you be victorious. Serve the Empire! part of this game. Seems I've dropped a few frames but not enough to really matter. Picking up the Kiri ships in orbit of Barath. We, ha we will have to clear the invaders before we can beam down to the monster and assist the Emperor. Okay. 
traffic.
Legends say that the Shrine of Kalos marks the place where he crossed into Gaethor, Grethor for battles for the soul of his brother, and redeemed Morath's soul and took him safely to Stovacor. While it is sacred to us, it is also dangerous and recommended we finish our work here quickly as possible before the fumes from the lava get to us. Arm yourself, Captain. We will have our vengeance. 